I don't know if you've ever been roasted by your child. I have. And if you meet me, I'm not a humble person. Not even a little bit. My company's called The Arrogant Designer. I'm a swimming pool architect and expert. And if you ask me, I'll tell you how good I am, because I'm great. Now, my daughter, who is now 20, as I film this, is quite a bit like me, with one exception. She's a woman, so she's better than me, as most women are better than men in most ways. I call her a vicious canid, and I call people who I really like that. And of course, I love my daughter. I noticed this, that she was just incredibly loving, but also just razor sharp, smart, and able to roast almost as well as I could at a young age. Now she's getting better at it. She's not as good as, you know, us old people. I'm 51 as we film this. But it's really interesting to, to watch her evolve in this thing that we do as humans. And uh, if you're ever interested, there's a book called, uh, oh gosh, let me think real quick here, Civilized to Death. And it'll tell you about the human evolution of tribes and gives an insight into roasting or sarcasm or and why we do it. And I think it's very common that, that we do that. And it's really important that we do it because the uh, people like me whose egos are so large that need to be checked all the time. Anyways, I noticed this about my daughter when she was about 16. She was in the car with me and my best friend, Zach, who I've been best friends with for 30 years. Um, excuse me, 20 plus years uh, since before she was born. And he's known my daughter her whole life. Now, if you saw me and Zach or listened to our conversations, you would think we were two idiots or morons because we are just low, low hanging fruit roasting each other all the time. It is just an insult fest. And I don't know if a lot of men are like this, but I know a lot of men that are like this. Um, and it's just the way we say, Hey, you're okay. You're my friend. I love, you. you know, that's just the way we do it. And also it's just to check each other's egos. Uh, cause Zach himself is a powerhouse of a person. Uh, he's top of his field. Uh, he just crushes it. So we're in the car with Zach. Zach's I'm like, you know, I, I think my driver's license says six foot. I'm five, ten and a half, whatever. So, and Zach's maybe 5'8", so he's maybe two inches shorter than me, but that's the joke that I use with him is, hey, you're short or you're, you know, a small person or a midget or a dwarf, whatever incorrect term. Sorry if I'm using it and you're offended and you're a small person. Get over it, right? Anyways, so we're in the car and we're, he's in the back seat. My daughter's in the front seat and we're going back and forth and she chimes in and he says something, I don't remember what he said, but he says something like, you're just a kid. And she says, I'm taller than you. And he just dead silence, dead silence. And that's when I knew she was going to be like just dangerous. She's been trying. I mean, she tries still, but she's, she's vicious, a vicious kid. And I'm so proud of it because uh, it just is fun. Like again, but I judge people based on how well they consult me. Right, that really is to me. My close friends, not people you don't know. Like you know, I, you know, I don't care about that. And again, my background is that you know I'm being you know, I'm 51. I'm a man. I you know jujitsu, night dive, kayak, jumped out of a plane, scared the crap out of me and my daughter. Uh, not so much her, but anyways. So I think that. I have, uh, you know, I'm macho or whatever. And, and then women just chop us down and they do a really good job of it. or they should, you know, and that's the game that we play. We have this, 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 this back and forth. And um, anyways, if you like stuff like that, I 
and like to know about people, I would highly recommend Jordan Peterson too. And again, if you can get out of the political stuff, I think his stuff's great. Anyways, but as I watch my daughter, like she was here this weekend and I live in San Diego and we were just chatting away. And, you know, she's a chatty Kathy, I'm a chatty Kathy. And, you know, and I was talking about my day and the day I'm a Navy veteran. And I was talking about, you know, maybe I could have been a SEAL and I didn't do it because, you know, I didn't want to kill people. And, you know, that's not really, you know what? And, and of course, now I've run triathlons, you know, rent and all this stuff. So, you know, I, I'm a physically, I think I, I could make it through that stuff. Um, I, you know, but again, I haven't done it. I know people have done it. So my mentor was almost a seal, blah, blah, blah. But as I'm saying, that, just as quickly as, as she could, you know, she could, she's sitting right next to me, sitting right next to me. She's like, no, dad, you couldn't have done that. And I'm like, my ego inside was just screaming, like, you little tramp. How disrespectful can you be? And, but then me, whoever PJ is, uh, <laughs> just was like, she's right. She's right. And it hurt. It hurt so bad. Oh, my goodness. And, again, the hubris we have when we're young. It slows down as we get older, but for us arrogant people, which is 20% of the population, folks, uh, it, it doesn't slow down that much. But, and my friends try and check me in. My mom tries to check me in. None of that. It work, It doesn't work. I just keep barreling through it. So, but my daughter is now 20 and just has the world by the tail. And again, when you're in your 20s, you're you just think that you know everything and she's going to be a psychologist and she's got all these boys wrapped around her finger and they're all you know uh you know we say that these boys are weaker this generation's weaker eh, sure you can say that uh but i just think the women are just so much more confident than they were or better at just managing these men so and that's the way it goes but that's all right but i encourage you if you're a, a father with a daughter just uh be careful because they're alligators you got a pet alligator and uh they'll rip you to shreds in a second and you just gotta let it go and laugh and uh, hopefully it only happens once or twice a day thanks for listening this is uh i don't know what this is going to be i just wanted to try this out and see if it worked